Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Kim Kardashian offered The Bachelorette. She says, I'm going to do the show The Bachelorette. No one believes this, but it's still an interesting uh, teaser, a clickbait, if you will, between the Kardashians and The Bachelorette, which they're both on Hulu and there's some you know cross-promotion happening. So we'll get into this. Plus, we have an official announcement coming on Monday for who the next goal Golden Bachelor or first Golden Bachelor will be. Could this be the TV show that saves the Bachelor franchise? Just maybe. Also, who's Kim K been rumored to be dating? We'll get into all of this and more. Last night was a fantastic stand-up show in Pacific Beach, San Diego, California. We actually had Brayden from this current season of The Bachelorette came, and Logan came from this uh, last season of Bachelor in Paradise, and some other very uh, nice people. Uh, Araceli from the Patreon showed up. That's right. We had a good... Uh, I mean, look, if you're on the Patreon, you might get to hang out with some of these bachelor people whether you like it or not all right uh so we got some insider information i'm going to be sharing that insider information with the subscription service patreon.com slash dave neal and i've got one last show in san diego tonight and then this sunday i've got a brunch show if you like mimosas and laughter we, who doesn't by the way we've got a brunch show happening in uh, los angeles this sunday and then i'll have a stand-up show in huntington beach that just got announced on august 17th i thought i was gonna be in scottsdale i'm actually going to be in Huntington Beach, California, uh, home of Cassie Randolph. We'll have that August 17th and then August 24th, Seattle. Links below for tickets. Okay, Kim K offered The Bachelorette. Let's get into this right here. I'm going to play for you the real. I'm probably going to talk over it a little bit just because it's licensed content and we don't want to get it pulled down. But here is the real right here. I got to stand up for this one, Kim Kardashian says. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I want to know. No one knows. That's that's her momager right there, Chris Jenner. So, <laughs> if you don't know, Chris Jenner was married to Kim Kardashian's dad, who passed away. He was a lawyer for O.J. Simpson, and Kim Kardashian kind of became famous after a leaked sex tape, sex tape with, I believe, Ray J, uh, which wasn't her fault, but that's just the way the world works, right? Um, sadly, you should not be doing that. I believe it is illegal. Uh, and uh, maybe in different states. I don't know. And then Kim, and then, hold on, I'm going to get through it all. There's a lot here. And then Kris Jenner uh, then married... Uh, 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 Bruce Jenner, who is now Caitlyn Jenner. So that catches everybody up, okay? What is it? An executive from Disney called me Rob Mills. Yeah. You know these people, but they wanted to call me directly, and then I. So Rob Mills was the um, executive for The Bachelor, but now he's like a higher role for all, for like more more programming with Disney, which of course owns ABC. I was gonna connect them with you once I decided if I was gonna do it or not. I'm gonna do the show. That and that was Travis Barker from Blink-182. Is that who that is? Do I have any of this right? Bachelorette. I'm gonna be Stop the bachelorette. It. I'm so serious. You're gonna do the Bachelorette? Yes, I am. What? You're gonna do the Bachelorette? Yes. Well, Kim, 100%. You're not doing. Yes. Why? Hell, she's doing that. No way. Mom, call the guy Rob. Mom, call Rob. Rob. My daughter says she's gonna do your show. Uh, look, this is hilarious. I gotta, I gotta tell you, there's a million reasons why I think the Kardashians are bad for our culture. You know, this idea that uh, you know so much work can be done on your face and you know, beauty, you can buy it at a certain level and filters and makeup and look. But when it, when it all comes down to it, they're self-made billionaires for the most part. Now, did they start on third base with the you know already having different privileges? Absolutely. But they stole home and I mean like the. Kylie, Kylie Jenner, the the, the Jenners uh, were so much. Kim Kardashian want, has more clout than Oprah, which is just insane. No, not happening. Nope. I'm your momager, manager, mother. Uh, it, name a title. I'll put any hat on that you want, but you're not doing this. New episodes on Thursday. She said it's not going to happen. By the way, Kim Kardashian, for all criticisms, Kim Kardashian... Um, legal. She actually um, is not a lawyer. No, Kim Kardashian is not yet officially qualified as a lawyer. However, she is well on her way to qualifying as in 2021, Kim revealed she had passed her baby bar exam. So at, le at least in California, you don't, you don't need to go to law school. You just need to pass the exam, I believe. But either way, 
Her, she's like if you just search Kim Kardashian prison reform, you're gonna realize she's done more for um, wrongfully incarcerated people than just about anyone else who is in is in is in politics. So you can talk about her in one way or another. Oh, she's this, she's that, she's spoiled, she's whatever. But she's actually spending her equity, her brand, her ability to get move the needle. She's spending it in a useful way. And that is more important than what to me than whether or not she uses a filter on her photos or whatever, right? Um, she's obviously gone through a lot as a single mom, you know, broke up with Kanye, aka Ye. Is it Ye or Ye? I don't know where which accent I should put on the Kanye. Broke up with him. Of course, he's uh, suffers from some mental health issues, and she had to do what was right for her kids. Um, but she visits California prisons and advocates for criminal justice reform. Plenty of articles about it. She leads young influencers, led a group of young influencers on a California prison tour. And yeah, anyway, so. Our prison system does need reform. We are the number one, if not the top two, um, worst countries as far as uh, how many people are locked up per capita. And in so many situations, people that get locked up can't afford to have proper uh, legal teams to take care of them. They can't afford bond. They can't afford all these issues. Why were they locked up in the first place? Well, we live in a country of despair. Ever since the 70s, the sort of um, uh, wealth has gone to the upper class and the middle class has shrunk in and people, you know, wa- are one injury away from uh, losing their life savings because of the healthcare system or can't keep a job or the opioid uh, uh, pandemic has affected them because they had to do painkillers that they couldn't afford and got addicted. So many issues lead to what becomes theft in prison. And um, and um, I mean, some people literally go to prison because they get better better health insurance in prison. They can get better dental insurance. It's an absolute uh, travesty. The land of the free has the most locked up people per capita of any first world country. Um, And that is not something to be uh, prideful of. Also, prisons are for profit. They make a lot of money in the prison system. Uh, There's a lot of money there that is encouraging people to keep filling the seats. They treat it like a god dang hotel. Well, we have 33% of our seats are empty. Go get some prisoners out there to um, pull over some more black people. Like, that's literally what goes on. I'll fight you on that. Um, Anyway, so Kim Kardashian was rumored to have spent time with Tom Brady, but apparently they're not together. Uh, Otherwise, maybe, you know, they would have, um, maybe she wouldn't be the bachelorette. And of course... I don't believe she's going to be the bachelorette. I don't think anyone does. Jesse Palmer says, oh, I was born ready. Also, Khloe Kardashian looks totally thrilled. Caitlin Bristow says, Kim Kardashian and a bunch of personal trainers and medical sales reps. I like it. Uh, Bitchlorette says, this is so obviously a publicity stunt. Yeah, it's definitely a publicity stunt. It's And it definitely was filmed a long time ago, so it's not going to happen. But hey, who knows? You know what I mean? Kim Kardashian was actually featured... Okay, so Kim Kardashian and Tom Brady were together at a 4th of July party. So everyone thought, oh, they must be hanging out. There it is. There's Tom's slender body and Kim's hourglass figure. And there they are at an all-white party. I tell you what, I'm not going to an all-white party. I'll tell you why. I like... Like bolognese sauce. And there ain't no bolognese sauce going near me if I'm at an all white party, okay? The only thing you can eat at an all white party is clam chowder. That's it. You can only eat clam chowder, New England style, not Manhattan, but that's neither here nor there. So, Kim Kardashian, you might say, Dave, what do you have in common with Kim Kardashian? Well, I'll tell you this she was featured as the 100 most influential uh, people or whatever in uh, Time Magazine, and your boy was also featured in Time Magazine. So, you know, what, what what's the link there? Well, I'll just tell you this. Uh, <laughs> not, that's not too much. Uh, but either way, happy for Kim. Uh, she, won't, she will not be the next Bachelorette. Um, the Golden Bachelor, senior citizen dating show, is uh, premiering uh, or or will start filming pretty soon. I don't think it started filming. I don't know. It, it probably my guess is, and I'm I'm not here to make any old people jokes. Old people deserve to find love too, and my guess is this will be a heartwarming show. We there's something if we if we treated each other with humanity the way we treat old people we love old people oh this guy and it's got to do with ego we we don't see and again this might sound ageist i'm speaking on a generalized level of how i believe we act like um 
uh, uh, internationally. I don't think we respect old people, and we don't treat their um, their sort of gr- uh, their their wise thoughts with as much. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, this boomer doesn't know anything, and I'm and I'm and I'm with you. I, I make fun of boomers all the time, but that's that's just because they're the richest generation, and generally uh, all suffer from lead poisoning. But the point is, uh, is that um, I don't think we value. Uh, the wisdom that we can get from the older generations. And I think that if we treated each other the way we treat older generations, as far as we're very polite, we'll hold the door open, we'll give people their time, we'll listen to their stories. If we treat each other that way, I think we would live in a kinder world. So either way, here's the t- teaser uh, for The Bachelor, The Golden Bachelor. It's happening, folk. This magic moment. A close-up shot of a rose turning gold. So there it is, folks. And they said, on July 17th, the Golden Bachelor will be revealed, which I believe is Monday, right? What's the date today? The 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th. So Monday, we're going to find out who the Golden Bachelor is going to be, and we'll have to see who that is. After years and years and years of waiting for the Bachelor franchise's senior citizen spinoff, the first teaser for the new series is here. In ABC's first promo, exclusively, exclusively revealed by Variety, the franchise's signature Red Rose is turned gold for its golden man. The quick trailer is set to the tune of this magic moment. My guess is with the senior bachelor is that there's no wasting time. They need to do fantasy suite night one. They just get to the chase, get out there and have fun. Either way, looking forward to it. We will have all of your golden bachelor updates. It looks like it'll be a busy fall. We've got charity season, um, one third the way done roughly. And then we're going to go right into bachelor in paradise. And then we're going to have golden bachelor. And then after that, we're going to have the bachelor and the beat goes on more content coming your way. Bachelor rush hour. My hit podcast will be this afternoon. Make sure to check in on that. And also, Oh, I didn't share this. If you want, I've got, um, a new reel up. I will tell you, um, who I bleeped out in this reel on the Patreon today. Have a listen. It's uh, sex positive, which uh, means HPV positive. <laughs> Daddy issues positive and cat lady positive. <laughs> He's got a cat named Tommy. Give it up for Tommy. <laughs> which explains why it never worked out with her. She only had room in her apartment for one pussy. <laughs> All right, so I've got two more um, reels coming out today. You can go check those out as they come out on my Instagram, at DNeals, and my TikTok. All right, we'll be back with more content right after this.